An Introduction to Global Material Resources and Reserves What is the global picture for material use? What is the difference between reserves and resources? And will we run out of material reserves? These are questions that we look at in this video. Recall that the Earth is effectively a closed thermodynamic system. This means it can exchange energy with its surroundings, but not enough mass to affect its thermodynamic state. The consequence of the Earth being essentially a closed system is that all that is needed for life must be produced on Earth from the things that were already on Earth. And all that is produced in the form of waste must either be absorbed on Earth or accumulated on Earth. What does this mean for our daily use of materials in different forms? Let's first take a historical look at materials. This graphic depicts that the human race has become increasingly dependent upon materials that are not sustainable that is, these material resources, are not renewed in the closed thermodynamic system of our planet once they have been used up. The gray line, the Industrial Revolution, marks the beginning of the dependence on fossil fuels. Just 300 years ago, most of the materials used by people were renewable, wood, leather, stone, and natural fibers. Certainly, metals such as zinc, copper, and tin, and iron were used. Today, we do not merely use these materials. Much of our daily activity in the modern world depends on these materials. This graphic shows the production of 23 materials that are the basis of an industrial society's way of life. Here's another look at the same set of materials. As shown, most of the materials by mass are ceramics, with the greatest proportion being cement. This figure graphically depicts the different technological materials that are used in our global economy. It illustrates the answer to the question, how many years do we have until we deplete our global reserves of these technological resources if the world consumes at half the United States consumption rate? Recall that the United States represents about 5% of the global population, yet we consume far in excess of 5% of most of the global material reserves. The data presented here are rather alarming because they predict that we will run out of key reserves in 10 years or less. What does this mean? Can we possibly run out of material reserves? Recalling that the Earth is a closed thermodynamic system, it is technologically possible to consume a particular mass of a material from a fixed reserve, but what does reserve mean? This graphic shows the difference between reserves and resource base. The x-axis represents the geological certainty of the material with the high uncertainty on the right and high certainty on the left. The y-axis represents the concentration of the ore Ores that are rich will result in less energy and expense to extract and concentrate the mineral. Reserve is defined as that part of the known mineral deposit that can be extracted legally and economically at the time it is determined. It's a conservative estimate of the amount available. Often people assume that reserve means the total amount of mineral that's available, but the reserve is actually determined by economic, technological, and legal factors. For example, sophisticated technology can enlarge the reserve, whereas more stringent environmental legislation can shrink it, assuming that the extraction process causes environmental degradation, which is often the case for the industrial era methods. The resource base of the reserve is the actual total of the mineral on Earth. This value is much less certain. You can imagine that as materials become more scarce, the many costs associated with their concentration and extraction increase. Although many progressive mines are developing innovative practices around on-site water recycling, detoxifying tailings, and low-impact extraction, environmental costs of non-innovative practices are very high and locally borne by the mine's ecosystems. Because the Earth is a closed thermodynamic system, all materials needed for life must be derived from the existing resources. Throughout recent history, our reliance on non-sustainable materials has increased. According to projections, we could deplete the known global resources of many important technological elements in the coming decades. The reserves represent the known and economically viable ore from which materials can be extracted and concentrated. While it is possible to increase reserves through advanced technologies or increased prospecting, Industrial air methods of mining have large ecological footprints.